Yeah, this next fit, I ain't gonna hold it. I break this. Like, this is my first brick of 2023, and it's crazy because it's in January, too. Six days in a year, now I'm breaking fits. Shit is insane. Like, it really hit me after I set up the camera and got all the pictures ready or whatnot. Like, bro, I went from wearing Jordans and skinny jeans to wearing tank tops that say kinky girl i love you boy i don't know why i just i'm sorry this nigga be getting so scared he's a skittish cat maybe it's because i uh throw pillows at him nah that's not funny let me not make like abusive cat jokes this fit right here was on my birthday bro <laughs> i'm reading a comment the top comment says i thought this was cardi fuck you what's good y'all thank you for clicking on another video ah we doing a style evolution like i said bro i was talking mad shit on y'all outfits in the last one and even though it was justifiable because some of those were actually dookie like Boo boo water, like just being honest. Nah, boo boo water is different. Let's be real, bro. Them fits ain't nothing. As a real nigga, bro, I can admit, like, bro, I brick fits too. Like, that's why I really hope y'all not butt hurt when I give my honest opinion because uh, at the end of the day, it is just clothes. And, bro, I'm human too. Like, I make some terrible garbage outfits, and we're gonna talk about it today in a whole fucking YouTube video. So, Cheers for that. I think it's best to start with this outfit here. Now, if I'm being honest, not even to toot my own horn, but I do think this is a really good outfit. It's definitely timeless in my opinion. Um, I went with the green Peaceful People varsity jacket, which I actually wore two days ago. Yeah, we popping out with color for spring, summer, man. Like, stop it, bro. It's not all black. We not opium, respectfully. We gonna fast forward to the next outfit. This was June 26th of 2021, and I was still on some streetwear shit, but I was getting more into the archive, you know, old, older Japanese pieces. Like, I was always wearing number nine. Like, we can really go back. People used to live call me homeless i'm gonna put the picture on the screen fuck it shit crazy but i was really like you know what let me not dibble and dabble like i did prior like i'm gonna actually start getting to like japanese clothes so i got the double skull number nine jacket i mean i really regret selling that bitch i ain't gonna hold it like whenever niggas need money and you trying to get some new pieces you say you make dumb decisions like i'm gonna be honest bro i really needed cash at the time so i sold my clothes and got more clothes but then ended up regretting shit dumb i'm gonna be honest this is the point where i really started to experiment with black i started repeating the same outfits daily like i, I used to dawn upon that like bro don't repeat outfits like you ain't having that shit on if you're not wearing bro i wear the same shit every day literally like you can ask my well she used to be my girlfriend but that's a whole another story i had the rick mega tube boots on which i actually wore today i got the furry slides on right now because i'm chilling but i took a little bit of inspiration from flight react so if you know what i'm talking about drop it down in the comments man gang this is like the epitome of like elitist but not elitist because you don't know what to be elitist about but like you're definitely on that way like i wouldn't be able to talk shit about y'all outfits in the last video if i didn't make this fit all white button up that i thrifted cost me like two bucks not breaking the bank then i had a rick owens vest that i actually got from my dog shay he let me borrow it just for this fit if your dog not letting you share a piece or two like is he really your dog at that point so i'm still on some flamboyant shit i'm listening to iggy pop heavy rock music just in general heavy dig nothing all that when i was wearing rick owens with varsity jackets i was just bumping like uzi cardi yachty like asap like you know what i'm saying you could tee that influence but i had colored nails just like asap when i I looked in the mirror at this point in time bro i didn't even know who i was like i'm gonna be honest like i was literally going through an identity crisis half of me is still into this rick owens playboy cardi lore but then another half of me is on this iggy pop goddamn david bowie lore like i it was i was fighting demons <laughs> like i don't know i was fighting demons bro um but we were still in the gym though i want to quickly go through these next few fits and you can see how i'm starting to implicate the uniform technique where i'm more so wearing the same thing every single outfit like yeah when you scroll down every post is something new something exotic like oh shit he's in this location with this wild background but like i'm starting to dumb down a little bit and really just give y'all looks like these are just aesthetic looks at the same fit almost skinny flare pants again i'm wearing them bitches right now video coming soon on them the same boots that i wear every day like those are my everyday high heeled boots i got the number nine blank generation t up top a regular a regular leather jacket excuse me and then a criminal mountain rescue somar hat whenever i go out to flick up it doesn't have to be no crazy shit like I just want to show y'all what looks good and most comfortable on me now And yes, for all you fucktards out there, I do wear baggy pants Suck my dick Moving forward, same fit, bro I'm wearing the same pants, the skinny flared black pants, bro Like, I feel like Ugly God Y'all remember when Ugly God was wearing the same black pants for like every IG post? I'm on that type of timing Like, let him know, Benji Like, they need to stop playing with us, twin I love you, boy I don't know why, I just, I'm sorry This nigga be getting so scared He's a skittish cat Maybe it's because I, uh, throw pillows at him Nah, that's not funny Let me not make like abusive cat jokes this fit right here was on my birthday bro <laughs> i'm reading a comment the top comment says i thought this was cardi 
fuck you you can't underestimate how like forward it is bro like i'm wearing women's uggs hey and i'm not even trying to be racist or stereotypical but i see how them white girls be putting on them uggs every day like i'm one of those like i'm i'm white girl core when i be going to school y'all bro i be wearing the same shit but instead of wearing them boots because after a while them heels start hurting i see where all the females coming from bro heel boots hurt them high heels hurt twin. like oh god so like when i'm not wearing the high heels bro or like wearing like boots with a heel or whatnot um because i know some of y'all niggas that's like buff and tough oh he said and high heels click off unsubscribe so when i'm not wearing my boots i throw on the uggs yeah this next fit i ain't gonna hold it i break this like this is my first brick of 2023 and it's crazy because it's in january too six days in a year now i'm breaking fits shit is insane and this picture it actually caused a lot of controversy in the comments because this is when i was smoking cigarettes when i was in new york city and like this is what made me cut the cigarettes out like not only was i having my parents in my ear saying stop the cigs my friends saying stop the cigs that don't smoke cigs like y'all saying bro shit not cool you just want to be cardi like Bitch, Cardi don't know me. You think I'm really, really, bro? Do you really think I will risk my health for Playboy fucking Cardi? What? Y'all niggas is online too much, bro. Am I still recording? All right, cool. But like me and the homies, bro, we were just ripping through these boxes of cigs, bro, because we was in New York City. Like that's the energy, that's the vibe. It was fashion week. Um, but when I came back, y'all, I was sick as fuck. Like I'm still, I don't know if you can still kind of hear the mucus in my throat and my lungs, but I had to go to the doctor, bro. Like after like four weeks and I was still coughing, still had a sore throat. I was like, wait, I might be dying. I um, mean, I went, they said I had bronchitis. Luckily not ammonia, never had bronchitis before. Wasn't fun news, but I said it's either because I underpacked for New York and I was wearing a number nine hoodie that was too small or the cigarettes maybe a little bit of both back to the fit um yeah i was smoking a cig i had a helmet laying 1999 over sleeve wax jacket had the somar belt that's one of my favorite belts that's a daily now i'm instead of that brown belt then i had the same black pants y'all i told y'all i'm ugly god i'm the ugly god ain't got shit on me i love you ugly guy you disappeared off the map you doing your own thing but hey bro put back on them black pants twin because i got your spot now you're not wearing black pants more than me, bro. I got them shits on right now as we recording. I ain't gonna lie. Now I'm looking at this picture. I ain't 100% break this fit. But this is one of those shots, especially if you play basketball. Oh, this analogy about to be fire. If you play basketball, bro, you know sometimes you shoot the rock. You think it's about to go all net and you hit backboard. Like, you still made the shot, but you ain't called backboard. This is one of those. On some Matt Ryan shit, I throw a prayer, Aaron Rodgers. But nigga ended up hitting the Kobe fade. Goddamn three seconds left on the clock. I hit a Kobe fade and guess what? It went in. So, fuck it. We here. This is when I was in New York City for fashion week my first ever fashion week bro and it was an absolutely amazing experience you can see the bfa picture right there i'm a beautiful young man like i said no acne on the skin remember i was down bad acne routine or skincare excuse me come in on the second channel man so if you're not subscribed to cash cave vlog subscribe Big beard coming in too like i'm really having my way now like i'm up i ain't gonna hold it like i'm not down bad like i used to be like two weeks ago i told y'all bro them cigs was literally rotting away my lungs day by day um, but the fit hard though anything for the fit pig, right? I had the beanie on same beanie I'm wearing right now the the usual necklace arrangement I'm a somar jacket. That is a Italian leather somar jacket too. So beautiful. The cut is amazing Owen you kill it every fucking time. Like how do you do it? I wish we could swap brains for a day damn Benji you cool, bro What is you doing this nigga tweaking look at you yo, bro? This nigga arm is stuck in my couch, bro. Are you smooth, bro? Should I even help you? That's what you get, bro. What are you doing? Like, this nigga can't, bro. Look, y'all see this? He can't move his... Bro, what is you doing? <laughs> bro, I love my cat, bro. He just be doing weird, dumb shit. That nigga fraud. Black pants, ugly guy. I don't even, bro. At this point, bro, like, who is ugly guy, bro? Like, I done dissed this nigga so many, bro. Who are you, ugly guy? Bro, I still got the same black pant, bro. Them shits is on. What are you doing? Like, where are you at right now, ugly guy? Why do you not have your black pants on, bro? Like, what are you, like... Uh... I'm gonna let you be. I got these all red fake CCP boots on. They're not actually CCP, but I'm not dropping 1600 on no CCP, so I'm gonna make my own. This is a DIY, you know what I'm saying? We're going the cheap way. No cap. Gotta say that cash all 2023. In this picture, I took bruh thinking Cardi to a whole nother dimension. Like, I'm I'm cosplaying Cardi at this point. Like, see, dreads, I'm, shit's just not red. So, I'm like, I'm really him. Feel me? <laughs> That was cringe. Um, yeah, I, I was wearing the same fit, just without the jacket, sig in my mouth. Met a fake Burberry area at this uh, 38th floor party in New York City. Ice Spice came to perform. Nigga, they was trying to touch her cheeks and all that. Like, we had to get up out of there. I was drunk as hell, too. Ice Spice performed. I seen the video clips. Like, niggas was really trying to touch her cheeks on stage. Like, bro, come on, bro. This is a human. Like, where's the respect? You're trying to touch her ass cheeks, and she's performing in her mood. Like, fun fact, the pictures I just showed y'all were immediately after um, I walked around. 
runway so here are the runway pictures when i was in new york for midnight rodeo um and i don't want to read the rest of the paragraph but you guys already know how i feel about being on the runway like this is something i've dreamed of um since i really got into fashion for real like when i was wearing Bape and supreme i always still wanted to be a model like again y'all gotta remember i was looking up the fucking ian connor and cardi and shit um so like to get this far bro is amazing and like even though i'd be going on like stagnation vibes and shit like that and like hiatuses and stuff um i definitely always like look back at my past experiences and look at shit like this and remind myself to keep going um when i meet y'all in person y'all tell me keep going keep dropping music being on a runway was a was a big experience for me bro and i'm excited to do more like i will be doing more shit not gonna stop and, and this is 2023 like this is february 13th so you can see how much for how far i've come like from the streetwear shit in the beginning of the video to now like me switching my style uh was the perfect thing because you guys can see this runway it's like boots west a western vibe snap back with skinny flared pants like that's what i'm on now and imagine if i was wearing bape and supreme and, and off-white and shit i probably wouldn't got this runway look everything played out how it should be i, I definitely am a firm believer everything happens for a reason man it's of course most appropriate to end it at february 19th um this is i'm wearing an erd which is my favorite brand right now puma scarf that was sent over by the family over at puma some japanese denim that i'm proudly gatekeeping some converse and then a all white button up i'm starting to experiment more with like creating fuller outfits layering more more jewelry more accessories like rings i got another piercing on my nose so like i don't know like i'm just really starting to elevate not only my personality going out there meeting new people talking to other people with different interests my curiosity is just like out of this roof like i'm willing to learn from any and everyone that's probably why i'm making a video bro every single time i'm having fun with with, with where i'm at and i'm taking care of myself and my well-being i always want to record videos even through the adversity even through people telling me i fucking fell off Fuck you, suck my whole black, big, bald cock. I don't give a fuck what you gotta say. I'm him and I always will remain him. Um, so yeah, this is where we're at now. So if you can take anything away from this video, man, just remember to keep growing. Remember to be yourself, stay fearless, stay relentless, stay persistent, even though I don't stick to that all the time. That's something I'm actively working on, so stay persistent, excuse me, with all my goals and my ambitions. Like again, y'all say it, bro, think he Cardi. I, sometimes I do, like I'd rather not talk about it, just do that shit, if you know, you know. That was so fucking corny. Why am I such a... I'm a walking cornball. Like, why do y'all even watch me? Let's be real. Like, I, and there go the trains. This is the perfect time to end a video. Love y'all. Suck my dick. I'm sorry. That, that was fucked up.